Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. After you've created and confirmed your new account at BeersmithRecipes.com, the next step is to log into your cloud folder from Beersmith itself. If you haven't yet set up an account, you can click on the Register button at BeersmithRecipes.com to create one. You can see I have Beersmith open on my desktop. I'm now going to go to the View ribbon and click on the Cloud folder to open up my Cloud View. Since I haven't logged into this machine before, it's going to ask me for my username and password, which I created a few minutes ago. Once I log in, I'll be shown my cloud folder, which is empty because this is a new account. So let's ba go back to the local folders, which is my recipes, where I have all my other recipes stored. And I'll show you how to store a recipe into the cloud. It's important to note that you do need to have an active internet connection to access your cloud folder since your recipes are actually stored online. I'm going to store a copy of this recipe, Brad's Irish Stout, in the cloud. To do so, I simply right-click on the recipe and pick Copy to Cloud Folder. And now if I go over here to the cloud, you can see that the recipe, Brad's Irish Stout, has been stored online. Now one neat thing about being able to store recipes this way is if I log into my cloud account from another machine, say my laptop, I'll be able to view and edit all the recipes in my cloud folder from that machine as well. So this gives you an easy way to share and transfer recipes from one machine to another. You can even edit recipes in the cloud just by double clicking on them. And the changes will also be synchronized once you save them to the other machine. By default, the program checks the cloud for new recipes every 12 minutes or so. But you can also click on the sync button, the refresh button up here at the top. And it'll uh, synchronize automatically when you do that. For example, if you find new recipes online, you may want to sync it. Another neat feature is that these same recipes are now available online from your BeersmithRecipes.com account. So you can log in from any web browser on your tablet, your PC, your phone, and view the recipes that you have stored in the cloud. So let's go to those now. I'm going to bring up my web browser. And I am on the Beersmith Recipe Cloud site, and I've actually logged in under the same user, which is Beer Test. And if I click on My Recipes, you can see that my Irish Stout that I just uploaded is already there in the cloud. Now by default all these recipes are private and only accessible to you when you log in. However, you can mark any recipe as shared using a share button here. And now that it's shared, uh, anyone can actually search for it, view, and download that recipe. You can also mark recipe as shared from within the Beersmith program. So for example, if I go here, refresh it, you see it's now shared and I want to make it private again, I can just click on the Shared Private button here, and I can change it from Shared to Private, depending on how I want it to be. So it's very easy to change, uh, change the status and publish a recipe online, and share it with your friends, because once that thing's shared, anybody can log in and access that account and download that particular recipe. You can do a whole lot more from the cloud, including downloading recipes, bookmarking, reviewing recipes, following friends, uh, you'll learn more about these features by going to beersmithrecipes.com and clicking on the help link.